Hello and welcome. This is Jennifer McGuire. Lately, I have been getting a crazy amount of emails asking about what my favorite adhesive is because the one that I was normally using is being discontinued. So a lot of people were asking what a different option would be that I liked. So what I did is I tried a ton of options out there and I came down to one that I really like the most and I want to share that with you in today's video. If you haven't done so though, I encourage you to check out my favorite crafty things video that focuses on adhesives because there are a few different adhesives that I use for different purposes, for different needs. So I'm gonna link to it here. Be sure to check that out because I still like all the other adhesives I mentioned in that video. But for the regular day-to-day -day adhesive that I used to use, it's discontinued, so I'm sharing a new one with you today. Now keep in mind, everybody's needs and wants with an adhesive are different. Some people are looking for like a budget adhesive. Some people want something super small. I mean, there's all kinds of differences out there. But since so many people emailed me asking me what I liked, I thought I would share this today. Okay, so the adhesive that I had been using for a long time is the Tombow Stamp Runner, the pink version. This is it here. I love this guy, but it's being discontinued. Uh, the thing that I liked about this one is you can put the adhesive down on your paper, and if you decide you put it in the wrong spot, you can rub it away with your finger. And if you're like me, and you change your mind a lot or mess up when you're crafting, it's nice to have that option. However, when you stick two pieces of paper together with this adhesive, it does stay put, so you don't have to worry about it coming undone. If you carefully pull the paper apart, you are able to save your paper and rub the adhesive away. So this is great if you're a mistake maker like me. But again, this is being discontinued, so I needed to find another option, and I looked everywhere, and I found one that I think you will like. So the adhesive that I'm using now is the Kokuyo Dot Liner. The funny thing is I used to use this years and years ago in scrapbooking, but I actually switched away from it because it was getting hard to find and I started using the Stamp Runner. So now I'm back to this again and it's on the market and you can find it easily. So this is the Kokuyo Dot Liner in the original size. There's 16 meters on this and the adhesive is much like that in the Stamp Runner. It puts down tiny dots of adhesive in a line that can easily be rubbed away with your finger and you can move things but once you're done and have everything in place it does stay put the best part about this is it's very easy to change the refills and i'll show you that in a moment so there is a little cap that's attached to it so you can see it flips down and kind of pops in place which is nice because you don't have to worry about losing a cap but you can also protect the ends so here you can see the tiny little dots of adhesive that it puts down, smaller dots than the Stamp Runner and more of a narrow path than the Stamp Runner, which is nice. Okay, so you can see it rubs away perfectly, doesn't leave anything behind. Okay, so I also wanted to show you that if you glue two pieces of paper together with this adhesive, it does um, hold very tightly, but if you're careful, you can pull them apart without ruining the paper, and again, you can rub the adhesive away. So if you change your mind after putting something down, you can carefully remove it, and nobody will ever know. I do this a lot. That is why I choose these adhesives over others, and that you can remove it if you need to. So the one that I was showing you first is the original dot liner. It's smaller, it fits in the hand nicely. That's the one I used many years ago, but there is also the long dot liner that has much more adhesive in it. It is refillable just like the other. Now the tips are the same, or the adhesive that it puts out is the same, except for the long dot liner, it's a little bit wider path, but it still is smaller than the stamp runner, I believe. So let me tell you the difference between these. The regular dot liner is 16 meters of adhesive and the long dot liner is 36 meters of adhesive. So there's much more in that long dot liner. So that's the one that I tend to reach for. Now I usually don't mention prices in videos because they do change over time and everybody's different. So I will put that information over on my blog so that I can easily update it if I need to. However, I do find that the price is reasonable and comparable or even a little bit lower than most quality adhesives. Okay, so I know a lot of people will also ask about how it holds up, like if it gets jammed or anything. I have not had any problems in the few months that I've been using them. And again, it's really easy to refill, and I thought I'd show you how to refill each of these today. 
Now the regular dot runner, the refill comes in a bag. All you have to do is take the dot liner itself and squeeze on the two white bumps on the end and pull that out. Then you can pop out the old refill and just pitch that. And then you can easily pop in the new one. It's very easy to do. There is a little red tab on the new refill. You see it there? Just pull that out at any time. You can just pull that out and get rid of it. And now this pops into the new one. And then you close the back by pushing it closed. And that's all you have to do. Very easy. And it will start working immediately. You don't have to prime it or do anything else. Now the long dot runner, the bigger one, the refill comes in a box. So you just go ahead and take that out. There's no tab on this one. So for this to replace it, you just press the little white tab on the long dot reliner and that opens that little white arm. You remove the old refill, pop in the new one, close the white arm and you're ready to go. That's all you have to do. These couldn't be any easier to refill. And again, they're ready to use right away. So there you have it, the adhesive that I now use and I really am happy with. I'm hoping this is helpful to you. If you have similar needs and wants in an adhesive, this might work out for you. I appreciate you watching. I do link to a source for these adhesives below in my YouTube description, but you can also go to my blog for those links and also for more information. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I hope you'll return again soon. Have a great day.